So lately in the comment sections of my videos, there's been a lot of discussion about MacBook Pro cooling and about which model is best. Now a lot of people think that the current generation Touch Bar MacBook Pro isn't as good as the previous generation Retina MacBook Pros. So what I decided to do was put this to the test because you know I have both models and from my experience it seems like the Touch Bar has been better but I wanted to be very thorough and put it to the test. So a couple people have been saying that the Touch Bar MacBook Pro is a tin can and that it really overheats. So what I decided to do was push this thing to the limits. So what I did was I downloaded the Claymore AMD GPU miner um, for mining cryptocurrency and I set it to run mining Zcash for four days non-stop. So this computer has been sitting right here on my desk for the past four days straight and it has been mining Zcash. So after four days, how warm is the computer? So it is warm to the touch, but it's not hot. It's not something that is uncomfortable to touch. It really doesn't feel that bad. And in fact, when I downloaded a monitor that allows me to check the temperatures, the CPU and the GPU were both running around 65 degrees Celsius. So that may sound like a lot, but it's really not that bad. So for example, I've also been mining Zcash for the past four days on my gaming laptop that I reviewed a couple months ago. So this, this laptop is equipped with a GTX 1060, and, which is objectively a more powerful card, and it has been much faster at mining Zcash, but the thermals of this laptop are a lot worse. Even though the laptop is about an inch thick, so it's got a lot thicker heat pipes and thicker fans. It also has three fans. Um, this computer has gotten so hot that I've had to prop it up on its side and have an additional fan blowing cool air at the bottom of the laptop. Even with all of those factors combined, the GPU is still hitting 85 degrees Celsius. If that doesn't say all you need to know about the cooling system in the MacBook Pro, I don't know what does. The gaming laptop is thicker, with thicker heat pipes, thicker fans, more fans on its side, and is being actively cooled from the outside, and it's still 20 degrees Celsius warmer than a MacBook Pro that has been using its own fans and sitting normally on a desk. Now the other thing that I noticed when performing this test is just how quiet the MacBook Pro Touch Bar is. So what I'm gonna do is put my microphone about six inches away from the back of both of these computers and let you guys hear the difference in noise level between them. For context, here is the sound of my voice at a normal, low speaking volume. That is pretty striking, and I have to say, um, as silly as it may seem, the whole variably spaced fan blade thing that Apple introduced with the Retina MacBook Pros does do a fairly good job of keeping the noise levels down, and also I just think that this computer is designed very well and it does not make a lot of noise. So that concludes this experiment. I haven't actually stopped mining. It's still going right here in the background. We're four days and counting and this computer is completely stable. There is no throttling whatsoever and I am very, very impressed. Now granted, I could run more strenuous tests like uh, stress tests that are, in that are designed to max out the CPU and GPU with synthetic loads, but I figured a cryptocurrency mining test has some real world applications because I am actually mining cryptocurrency. I'm getting something out of this and it's been going pretty well. I've made about five bucks. So there you have it. So thank you guys for watching this video and make sure to leave a comment down below if you thought it was interesting. I certainly was surprised at how efficiently this computer was cooled. Maybe you were too. I will see you guys in the next video.